G'day there, mates. My name is Mr. McGillicuddy, and welcome back once again to my channel. Today, we'll be continuing the story of God of War 2018. Now, when we left off in the last episode, we fully explored around uh, Kratos' home and a look around the river's pass. We also learned a couple of things. Firstly, from one of the Valkyries we defeated, turns out something happens to them in, them in the room where they, well, rather the place where they all meet. Something happened there. Just don't know. Also, we learned that uh, Kratos' wife and uh, Atreus' uh, mother, Faye, was known as Laufey, Laufey the Just. Now, that does actually link it back a bit to North mythology. Because Laufey, depending on your perspective, was known as the knows the goddess of a uh, sorry, goddess of god of goddess of mistress, mischief and chaos. Or the god of mischief and chaos, depending on your perspective. Should have been a bit obvious for me, of course. One, Laufey was in, introduced to the in the Marvel movie uh, four. And uh, given the fact that Atreus is also known as Loki, it should have been clear too that her name that Faye's name was uh, Laffy as well. But the Laffy here is different to the one from mythology because, again, they took inspiration from the mythology, not exactly built around it. Because, after all, here was a giant, not an Asgardian god. Alpine. I missed its gentle breeze and the sweet smell of honeysuckle and blood. Well, Judging by the sky, the Light Elves are in control of the light this time. Explain. You see, the Light Elves and Dark Elves... ...are always fighting over the light. That part we know. But did you also know that control of the light has changed hands no less than 213 times? Really? It's true. Each side believes itself the rightful keepers of the light and argue they're simply fighting for survival. But the fact of the matter is, the war has been going on so long, they don't know who they are without it. Read it. Yes, sir. What does it say? It's about the eternal war for the light. Do you think it'll stop now after what we did? Unlikely. Yeah, again, as the god of war, Kratos knows that war is always, a, will be inevitable. Alrighty. Out of the way of that. Why is it the Dark Elves are always so annoying to fight? Okay. Now looking back here at the um, there are artifacts. Spoils of War. Okay, where's that web page I was at before? For the artifacts. Okay, looking at this, it looks like a lot of the artifacts are actually near the temple. We'll have another look around the aisles just to be safe. Because I think, yeah, there's one of them had a um, sealed chamber. So, clear this up for me. Svartalfheim means land of the dark elves, right? Right. But you said the Dark Elves have been here now for a really long time. And anyway, 
Aren't dwarves supposed to be from Swartalfond? They don't look like dark elves. Don't you think so? Then you are vastly more perceptive than the Aesir. They're the ones who apparently can't tell the difference. And they're the ones who came up with that name. Dwarves actually call their home realm Nidavalia. So the Dark Elves aren't from Svartalfheim at all? Not even a bit. They're just elves of another color. Nobody knows who came first, but they all come from Alfheim. Why do they fight all the time if they're really the same? That is adorable. Huh? It is the way of the world. Oh. Well, mm. that's sad. <sighs> sad that he is. Then again, all else the same. Right? Different things, whether it be a race, appearance, or just ideas. We all came from the same world, and yet we still always fight each other. Even though we're the most trivial matters. And I'm not going to go into politics here, because I'd rather not make anger some people with uh, information they don't know everything about. Or just anger people in general. But, I will say this. War is always inevitable, no matter where you look. And people always fight for something small, something big, be it ideals, be it something they want, be it they want to prove they're the strongest, or be it they just want to see the whole world burn. And then again, there is always the biggest reason of war. Profit. People want to start war so they can sell the guns to one side or the other. They have to care who who fights, who wins, so as long as they hold the bullets. I believe it was from the words of Moriarty from uh, Sherlock Holmes against the Shadows. Ready yourself, boy! <laughs> So guys, I came back in after having talked with my dad about something important. No, he's mage, uh, just that uh, he wanted me to have a look at something. Silver. Alrighty, now, 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 this is supposed to be the area where the uh, inner chamber is. Well, let's do another quick look around here because, well, you never know what I may miss. I heard a raven. I see you. <laughs> Thank goodness for headphones. Oh. Came back here, but uh, I think I was too caught up with the story of Andreas being uh, being angry at Kratos for leaving him alone for quite a long time. But anyway, we only need about three more rifts, and uh, hmm, there's only one raiding. All right, well, I better keep my ears open then. And uh, is that all the rifts here? Yeah, that's all of them. I keep calling them rifts when they're actually called tears. So I have to play too many different games. Okay, so the um, hidden door is either this way or down here. We'll try down here first. Down here it is. 
There might be a Valkyrie fight ahead, so just be ready. Yep. That's four out of seven. If I were to guess, I'd say one of the Oak Ravens is, is in here. Because, by not giving the evidence from the previous hidden chambers, it seems plausible. Plus, I would think Odin would want to keep an eye on the Valkyries that are in prison here. Marker. Let's see what's look out in the chest here. Huh. <sighs> Again, sorry, folks. Real life issues. Just got a form that's coming out of the ears. Another Valkyrie. We're gonna save her, right? If by save her you mean brutally rip her wings off, then my vote is I. Enough. Both of you. I will decide the best course of action. Yes, sir. I don't hear one of Odin's ravens yet. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, never mind. All right, get ready. Okay, so she does a quick shot. Alright, uh, so I'm gonna need to be careful in general. Okay, my daughter. I'm going to parry here. Jesus! Get the flipping out of me! What a train! No! Alright, this one's gonna be a lot tougher. Pretty much just keep your guard off with this one. You're gonna have to be have a quick reaction with this one. Oh, 
I'm getting health pitch, but pick up. more challenging. Milady, please tell us. Why were you in this physical form? Why fight us? I do not know. The soul of a Valkyrie cannot remain pure in a physical body. We belong in the spirit world, which is where I go now. She's got a set of what, what set of lungs on her, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. Somebody made them this way. Who and why? I, I wouldn't want to speculate. You know something? Ah, Mimia, the smartest man alive. I know many things. Good. Ah. Uh... Sigrun, the Queen of the Valkyries. She would have that power. The last time I saw her, she was corporeal herself. She came to visit me long after I'd been imprisoned by Odin. Why? Well, we had history, I guess you could say. Like, romantic history? Ah, oh, lad. You're making me blush, I think. Can I still blush? First we hunt these creatures, and now we chase your former lover. We do not need this distraction. It's more than a distraction. Father, these are Valkyries. They're the ones who keep the dead from overrunning Midgard. Then they are terrible at their job. It's not their fault, brother. Someone changed them. Kept them from their duty. The Queen? I can't say for sure, lad. We should ask more of them. If, of course, you don't mind the distraction. <clears> hmm. <throat> God, I just thought he would have put a grind there. Hmm. <clears throat> Nearby enemies within 50 minutes out. Ooh. Definitely equipping that. What the? Waste Guard of the Valkyrie? Holy heck! I first beat a legendary uh, epic gear. Well, we're not going to be equipping it now because we don't have the right. So this one basically focuses more on uh oh favors all uh well rounded stats. Okay. And this one basically has a high activation chance of granting runic when using runic attacks. Alright, so once you start upgrading it, I think we should equip it. I know it's level six now, but uh mm, maybe I should equip it now, but we'll just have to wait. I was hoping to get one of the get that um, true Asgardian steel to upgrade the um, talisman, but no such luck. So it's possible that the Valkyrie Queen may be the ones in, putting the imprisoning the Valkyries. Question is why. And uh, Mimir and her, the former lovers. Good God. It's always something, isn't it? But yeah, the idea of Valkyries, their spirit need to be remaining pure so as long as they stay corporeal, but remaining physical corrupts them. And then the Mark Krillus may say that it will tell us about their job. Again, not their fault. They weren't in that right mind because they're spiritual beings, not physical. Well, unless we know, unless we found the uh all owners ravens. Okay, so everything here that we still need to do is just the artifacts. Okay, <laughs> okay. So, uh, just 
sec. Shout out for the enemies. I still need to do that two more times against the wall. Need to do that about 17. And Reaper. And I still gonna need to use the talisman ability 30 times. <sighs> Better keep that in mind. I don't think there's anything this way, but I can't have, to have a quick look. By the way, I was going to take a book to have a look at what artifacts I need. And let's see, spores of war. Taking a while, guess, but I think I need two and five. Probably wrong, but we'll see. Okay, so for number two, I need to go back to the temple. So, let's head back to the boat. And there's nothing else I need to really look for here because, well, again, pretty much got everything else. Any more tails with me? Nope. Alright then. Okay, so we need to go back this way, down the elevator. What happened to it? I think it just went back down to the bottom because, well, we didn't go back up this way. Hold on. Freya's temple. The ring is just as beautiful as I'd remembered. Freya. A Vanier god. Freya's brother, actually. Freyr has a long history with the elves. One of the few gods welcome here. Yeah. So Freya and Freya. <laughs> okay. So we need to go back down there, but sadly we can't. I think we might be able to find a way back down there from this way. So in other words, we're going to be taking the long way around. Unless... Wait, yeah. No, because that's just leaves in there. What's this? Boy, over here. Sir. I didn't think I missed anything in here. Huh. Neat. What is it? In search of Freya, the light is ours again, but there is no time to lose. Only the return of Lord Freya can secure a peace. Surely, surely we are liberated by forces sent forth at his command. Like the sword of legend, but Freya himself remains lost, and now we must come to his aid. Some believe he has returned to Vanaheim while others believe he is held in Asgard. Both paths are now found shut. With the temple secured, all elf kind is called away to seek our lost lord. Huh. Okay. I guess maybe we wouldn't be able to get that lore marker until we actually came back here with Mumia. Just a guess. No, Atreus. The Dark Elves may have scattered for now, but some other will rise to lead them, and they will surely attack again. Freydia does, right, son? I see. Again, war is always inevitable. 
no matter how much we fight, to ensure peace, there will always be those who just want to fight. It's a sad thing, but sadly, there's no other way around it. Now, I just need to find a way down again. Just this way, probably. I'm probably just getting lost here. Alright, I may have to cut the video here and actually find a way back down to where I need to go. Yeah, looks like I'm going to have to do that. So, I'll be back shortly, guys. Alrighty, folks, I'm back. Now, it looks like I had to uh, go back to the sand bowl that was in the middle of the lake to head down here. Didn't really miss much of anything except the uh, Mimir's a saying. Huh. Didn't know that was here. Always on in the darkness, aren't they? That's execution of all death. Oh, come on, man, still. Was I trying to go for that? Not really tough, just again. I know I said it a million times, just they're just annoying. That's all they are. Okay. So it's good to have another look around. If we missed anything, no, it doesn't look like we have. Bit of health. What do we got here? Hey, wait for me. Alrighty, so if we can go over here. We can go that way again, but we'll try this way first. It might lead us to where we need to go. I need a light crystal here. I'm just gonna go back the other way here because, well, 
there might have been something we missed in those back rooms there that required the light arrows. Hmm. Okay, so that was number five. Number five, I believe. Let's see where that is. Okay, maybe I got it all wrong. <sighs> Bloody hell. So I don't really have a way to keep track of what order they're coming in. Still. I don't think that was the one I got because at the picture I'm looking at it showed it shrum it show it didn't show any plants, just the body in the room. No plants at all. Hmm. So there's a chance that the one I'm trying to find is actually the one I need again. Okay, that's just us starting to show the same picture now. <sighs> but that one there was described as number four. So, if I'm guessing this right... Still maybe number two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Or well, could be number three. But one of the two. But anyway, both of them are pretty much in the uh, ring temple anyway. So still worth a look. I think I might have to go across here to get a crystal. Got the one in here. So, where am I going to find a white crystal then? That's the real question. I'm not trying to chuck a bit of dodgy in or anything, but they need to do a better job at um, getting the right pictures needed when it comes to getting full collectible guides. I mean, come on, guys, you can do better than that. Locked. Yeah, so I can't turn those unless we get a crystal. And I very much doubt I can just bring one through the door here. Yeah, I would have got this one here, so number three is where I might need to go. And I don't know if we can get through behind there. Wait, now I remember where I can get a one crystal. <sighs> Can't believe it took me a little long to figure out, but um. 
I think I remember that I had to go down underneath that white bridge there in order to place the crystal down there. So there should be a path down there. Yeah. Yep, so I can pick the crystal up here. I can be such an idiot sometimes for not figuring this out. Memory is a funny thing. Sometimes you remember something, but sometimes it just slips the grasp. Anyway. Alrighty. So the question is, in what order does this go? We'll try it this way first. So B first. Okay, so it looks like I'm wrong. Because was there an F? No, there's an R only. Am I reading that wrong? Actually, that's a B. My bad. B, B, F. Okay, so hit it here once. Hit it the wrong way. Ah, I'm an idiot. I hit the wrong side. What the? Oh, that one, this is on a time limit. one of the armor pieces. Well, we still got it, so... Okay, so that one I was looking at the website, I think I already passed because it was pretty much the cell rooms that uh, had been knocked down one of the light crystals.
never seem to keep it in order. Oh, I know that could be one. One is one located out. I think this was the room. Yeah, that had the cells for me. So I may have to go up to the top again, so let's take the lift and see where we need to go. More better yet, yeah, I think I'll just cut it here and uh, see you guys when I find it. So yeah, I think I'll do that. So be right back. <clears throat> okay, so apparently the one I missed was down here. So once you navigate from the beach past the gate there, in which you have to be quick because it's shut on you, come all the way down through the uh, through the tunnel here, which you have to pass another gate. That one there. Go down to the side here, and the artifact will be located right about here. Mm -hmm. So I feel like I've completely done their head. Anyway, we found everything in Alfheim, and we pretty much all the war, all the chaos and war again. So let us head back. Now I said we start heading to Helheim and taking things to scare things down. There will be another Valkyrie there, yes, but we won't be taking her on in this episode because. If I'm ready to time I'm with three months at the 43 minute mark. So we'll have a close look around Alfheim and see what we can do from there. And at least we know there's at least one in Raven, always locked the right in the uh, hidden chambers. Well, I was just checking a message on my phone. So that's everything here. Next stop, Helheim. Afterwards, the only two realms we have places we have to explore there was Nivelheim and uh, Nusfelheim. Again, the nonsense here, so I just think we're killing. That's showing them. Mm hmm. You know, thinking about it now, you think we might have to meet uh, Freya's brother, Frey, Frey in uh, God of War Ragnarok. Oh, and before I forget. Come on in, man. So 
so much for peace and quiet. Eh, uh, well, same day. You gotta find you. Very much doubting. Anyway, I also equipped the um, Valkyrie gear. And I'm also gonna need perfect ass guardian steel for that. What's your news? Where the whipping heck do we get that? Most probably Valkyrie drops. Come back soon with more crap you found. Yeah, I decided to um, equip it when I was off camera here. Alrighty. Let's go to Hellheim, see if we can actually pick up some more stories, some more stuff, etc, etc. Hellheim. I'm gonna say, it really must have hurt Mimir when he had to have the Bifrost energy to put it straight into his eyes. At least we're not on the side of the bridge where those visions will torture us. It's so cold. My spit freezes when I talk. <sighs> That's hell for you. Anyway, we need to kill about four more Vodent Ravens, find one more legendary chest, and three more artifacts. As for the other things, they pull out Realm Tear, and something else, but. Oh, yeah, one of them's the Valkyrie. Alright, now we know that the, uh, actually no, I don't think it's down this way, no, no. <sighs> okay, so the Valkyrie's up here somewhere, the bridge of Helheim is through there. So, let's keep our eyes peeled for um, any signs of the uh, stuff we can get. Well, yeah, the dead just never stay dead, do they? And again, we're in hell haunts, so no surprise. I'm not supposed to get the fact that the, all, not all the Valkyries are back yet. Went smoothly. I didn't expect that to happen. Oh, 
Well, no way we can climb down there. Okay, so it's probably around this area here, Dad. <coughs> <coughs> Climb down. Okay, so we'll do about a couple more minutes of this and then we'll call it an episode. Rid of the bramble there. Push it in. How can we get down there? Climb down, you idiot. Sorry, it's just I thought there was another path there, but I guess I was wrong. Climb down any faster, but well, we do. I think that was an artifact that we got. Yeah, yeah, I think it was. Now nah, it's just light. Yeah, it's just hack silver. Can't always get them. Can't get them all right. Ah, this is an artifact. Ah, more of those. Good. Mm-hmm. I can't imagine how cold it is here. And I'm not really good with the cold myself. I mean, I know I live in a hot country that is really hot, and at the moment we experience a heat wave, but when it comes to freezing temperatures, no thank you. The last time I had an experience that big freezing, coldest for me anyway, because I've never been out of the country, was um, Melbourne. I went down there for my uh, dad's twin brother's funeral. And basically, we went there without any warm gear on, and oh my god. It was freezing. I mean, my aunt and I. I mean, my uh, relatives were thinking, what the hell are you throwing? And basically, because basically, we had nothing going but short shorts, flip flops, and uh, <laughs> short sleeved shirts. We weren't prepared for cold cold weather. Anyway, we saw a legendary chest up there. Question is, how did we get to it? I figured, yeah, as, now I remember. It was that breach we didn't get go across because um the heart and sap, that's right. We decided not to come back this way. And we couldn't get to it because the trace was sick at the time. Alright, oh, I need to get another resurrection stone too. There's also the Valkyrie over here. The question is, how do we get to it? Hello! The charm on infernal storms. Summon a storm or ice to prevent Kratos' attacks from being interrupted. Reduce the amount of damage it takes and inflict normal frost damage to all nearby enemies. Oof, that's a good defensive charm. Sorry, Atreus. Alright, now where can we go from here? Ah, so I need to actually go back this way to knock the chain down. Anyway, I'm gonna have to do that in the next episode, guys. I'm running out of time here. And there's no other way for me to get back up here, so... 
yeah, that's gonna have to do it for me. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, please remember to hit that like button. Also, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and show your support for the channel. I would very much appreciate that. Now, with that, I need to get going. So, thank you all again, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves and drive safely out there, people. Bye bye, and take care.